Now, after adding uh, connectors to connected groups, you have to specify or uh, define the required scenarios for uh, BRM. Okay, for role management, right, you have uh, need to assign three scenarios, okay? The BRM needs three scenarios. Uh, let us see what, what they are and how do we assign those. So let's go back and uh, go back and then click on maintain connection settings. Okay, so click on maintain connection settings. Now you have this integration scenarios, right? So for BRM, you need three integration scenarios, okay? One is role MG, role management, because BRM is going to be used in uh, provisioning, okay? So you use uh, for provisioning, and then you have authorization management. Okay, so you need these three integration scenarios for BRM. So you, here, now pick, let's say we pick role IMG first and uh, click the scenario, click on continue. So you get the role IMG and to this integration scenario, you have to assign the, your target connector. Okay, so you select that and click on connection scenario connection type. Okay, well, let's expand this to see what it is. And then you get the connection types here. In our case, if you are implement integration HANA database also, you can, then you can pick and assign the HANA database connector with or to this option. Okay, so in our case, we have, uh, let's say SAP, click on scenario connector link tab uh, node, okay, folder here on the left panel. And then Click on new entries and you enter your connect, uh, connector here, target connector here. So in our case, the target connector we're going to use is EHP CLNT 100. So what you could do is uh, click on new entries and then you have to assign, here you go and pick your target connector. Okay, and then because the target connector is already tied with the connection type, so when you hit the enter key, you know, because the key is already existing, you, but anyway, so when what happens is you will get uh, SAP here, connection type of SAP and the description here. Okay, like what we see here, right? For example, this, you get this options automatically entered there. Okay, so you need to follow this process and then you save it and then it will prompt you, so the system prompts you for a transport request, you can create, assign to a transport request. And then continue the same steps for integration scenario steps now, or let's say authorization management scenario, okay? Click on authorization, man pick authorization management and follow the same steps. Select the scenario, double click on the connection type, pick your uh, connection type as SAP, and then click on scenario integration. Okay, so click, again, click on new entries and add your uh, connector type here. Okay, now you follow and save it. Again, when you save it, transport may, it may the system may prompt, prompt you to assign uh, the new entry to the transport that you, have, you would have created. So let's go back and the third, and you follow the same step. Oops, sorry. So let's go back again. You follow the same steps for uh, the third one. Which one was the third one? So we already did, let's say, auth and uh, role MG. The third one is provisioning, right? So you select provisioning and follow the same steps, right? Select the sub-scenario, double click on service connection type link, select your uh, connection type, and click on scenario connector link and click on new entries to enter your connector information. Okay, target connector information and save it. Okay, so after assigning the connectors to connector groups, you also have to assign the integration scenarios to the connectors, okay, target connectors. And for BRM, you need uh, role MG, AUTH, and PROV scenarios, okay, provisioning scenarios. Uh, for uh, BRM. 